Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. Today, we are working on the piece behind me. I'm not exactly sure what the original intent of this piece was. It appears to be a cabinet with a top put on it. But I have some plans in store and I'm gonna be using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. Sweet Pickens Milk Paint is a true milk paint which comes in a powdered form. It is environmentally safe and is non-toxic and comes in a wide variety of colors. Sweet Pickens Milk Paint can be a little temperamental and I usually don't recommend it for newbies to furniture painting. You might want to start off with something like DIY paint until you get your confidence up. For more information on how to paint with DIY paint, click on the link above. Sweet Pickens Milk Paint can also do something that most other paints cannot, and that is to create a chippy, awesome finish that makes even new items look old. One of the reasons we love Sweet Pickens Milk Paint is because it is chippy. One of the bad reasons is sometimes it will all chip off and it can be unpredictable. If you have a high gloss surface, you might want to add a product called Extra Bond to your paint so that you decrease the chances of all of your paint coming off. In this project, I am not using any Extra Bond. We'll see what happens. Milk paint does require some prep. Most importantly, you want to clean down your piece. I like to use Awesome Spray from the dollar store to clean my piece before I paint. Just spray and wipe. If you're painting over a previously painted piece like I am, there's usually no additional prep. The next step is to pick your color and get painting. I decided to choose Red Wagon for my color. Since milk paint is a powdered paint, you're going to need to mix it with water. It is a 50-50 ratio. I recommend when you mix milk paint, you use hot water for best results. For this piece, I mixed up a half a cup of water to a half a cup of milk paint. The next most important step is to blend well. I like to use an immersion blender to get rid of all of the lumps in the paint. I highly recommend getting an immersion blender from a thrift store or a garage sale and then only use it for milk paint. It really will give you best results. If you've done a good job mixing, your consistency of your milk paint is kind of like instant pudding right after you make it. Next step is to start painting your piece. I did remove the cabinet doors to paint underneath. When the first coat was dry, I did apply a second coat of paint. As the second coat dried, I saw some awesome chippiness starting. You just can't get this from any other paint. To purchase any of the products that you're seeing me use here, you can shop my online store at shoptheturnedleg.com or if you're local, you can shop my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. Once the paint was dry, it was time to sand. I'm using my DeWalt Orbital Sander and 220 grit sandpaper. Not only will this smooth the milk paint, but you also can get some nice distressing and get off all of the extra paint that is starting to chip.
When I finished sanding the painted area, I noticed the top was a little rough, so I decided to sand that down nice and smooth too. After sanding, make sure to remove all of the dust with a lint-free cloth. Are you enjoying this video? If so, can I ask a favor? Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell for notifications. All of that really helps me to continue to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. The next step was to apply a sealer, and in this case, I decided that I would use oil wax from Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in Clear. Oil wax will dry to a smooth satin finish, and it is also very durable, water repellent, and watermark resistant. I also like that it can be used directly on wood and over milk paint. So I could seal the top and the sides all at the same time. Make sure to mix your oil wax well before using. The first step is just to brush on the oil wax. I prefer to use a brush that I can throw away. Allow the oil wax to soak in for 20 to 30 minutes and then wipe the excess with a dry, lint-free cloth. In most cases, you will need to apply a second coat of oil wax. I let my piece set overnight and then it was time to apply my second coat of oil wax. Once again, you're going to brush it on and then let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes Another great thing about oil wax is it's called one and done because after you apply this as your top coat, there is no need to reapply over time. I let the piece set overnight and now it is time to buff. Because oil wax is a wax, you can buff it to a higher shine. You can just use a lint-free rag to do the buffing or I sometimes like to use a brush or even this. This is my favorite tool for buffing wax. It is my drill attachment and for large pieces it saves me so much time. Let me show you how it works. piece is done and I'm going to show you the big reveal in just a moment but I have to tell you one if you've never tried milk paint before you need to try it I also want to tell you that there is a learning curve and milk paint can be temperamental and unpredictable but it is totally worth it the more I work with milk paint the more I am learning to embrace the unpredictability and the amazing results. How else could I get these really new cabinets to look all old and chippy without using milk paint? If you love milk paint or you have questions about milk paint, please feel free to drop them in the comments down below. 
Let's take a look at this piece. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this has inspired you to get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.